Welcome to Dagahir 101. Today, we will be discussing weapon types and damage in combat. First and foremost, garb, or period-appropriate clothing, must be worn at all times to participate. In Dagahir, it is essential to understand the damage system. The rules are extremely straightforward to ensure the game plays smoothly. If a player is struck in the torso, they are considered dead. The torso includes the tops of the shoulders to the buttocks and the base of the collarbone to the groin. The loss of any two limbs also means death for the player. Wearing armor prevents some types of damage and will be discussed later. Now, let's talk about the weapons of Dagahir. The most common weapon you'll see on the battlefield is called a blue weapon. They are used with one hand and must weigh a minimum of 12 ounces. Blue weapons come in a wide variety of styles as long as specifications are met. Armor will absorb the first strike from a blue weapon, but the second will be lethal. Red weapons are larger, heavier, and require two-handed use to deal full damage. Reds ignore armor and are the only weapon in the game that can break through shields, so aggression is key. Red! Red! They must measure at 48 inches and weigh 24 ounces to pass. The final type of hand-to-hand -hand weapon we will discuss today is the green weapon. Greens are designed exclusively to stab opponents. Only when used with two hands can greens pierce armor. Now that we've talked about the kinds of hand-to-hand -hand weapons, let's wrap things up with our final topic. Yellow weapons are projectiles such as javelins and arrows. They must be constructed safely because headshots are legal with these weapons. Hopefully you learned something today on this edition of Dagahir 101. We hope to see you all soon on the battlefield.